So our second hand to Jason, race 37 on your card is a two mile three furlong. Esther Tide Revelation for James Shea, Lucius Bond for Stu Gray along with Swiss Gris, Glisk for Martin Leader, Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes, Mentalia for Alex Cherry, Heathcote Monarch for Thomas Rogers, Norcroft Mountain for James Shea, James Away Friend for Ben Bonici, Baby Blue for Alex Cherry, and Obi-Wan sends two here, Ronquino and Lily of the Valley to make up 12, which is an even bigger field. All trying to chase down James Shea with seven wins. I made a mistake in the common the previous. He's up to seven wins. So as we wait for them to sort themselves out and settle down as they get to the first of 16, we will stream over it. The first one to rise was Lily of the Valley, our Obi-Wan, with Heathcote Monarch as company. And they're a length or so away from Mentalia, Norcroft Mountain, and Flames of Galileo nearest to us in the Blue Silks. And follow the uh, Glisk of Martin Leedham's out wide is Swiss Gris. Between those is Baby Blue in the Alex Cherry Hall colours as they go over the second. And then stepped over it towards the rear was Lucius Bond. We go past the winning post. Two miles still to go. It's Heathcote Monica and Lily of the Valley. To the third. They both take it well. Lily of the Valley jumped it best. Took a length advantage from Heathcote Monarch. About three away from Glisk, who's towing along Flames of Galileo, Swiss Grey and Baby Blue. We get to the fourth. All over that as well. Paul jump at the rear by Esther Tide Revelation for James Shea, which starts to shuffle back, but he's got one up the front. He's got Heathcote Monarch. Is that a Thomas Rogers horse? That's Thomas Rogers horse. I wish you two would change yourselves being you race so much together. Anyway, as it'll go over the fifth again, still at the rear is Esther Tide Revelation, but it's Heathcote Monarch for Thomas Rogers that takes it up by a length and a half from Lily of the Valley. And about four back to Baby Blue and Flames of Galileo and Glisk. Get to the ditch. Oh, we've lost one this time. It's Mentalia that's gone for Alex Cherry. Didn't quite make it up over that one. So with a mile and a half to go as they get to the seventh. We'll get over that better. Big high jump at the rear by Lucius Bond, but it's Heathcote Monarch for Thomas Rogers that maintains the lead. Leads by a couple to Lily of the Valley in second. Flames of Galileo and Baby Blue. Out wide is Norcroft Mountain. Wider still is James Away, friend for Ben Benici. Then you've got Ron Keener, the second horse for Obi Wan on his inside. is Glisk for Martin Leaven as they get to the eight. So they're halfway through the fences. We're only down one, which was Mentalia. And just at the rear, a Swiss Gris and Lucius Bond for Stu Gray. Still time though. We've got over a mile to travel. And it's still Heathcote Monarch that leads us by about four to Lily of the Valley. And baby blue. Glisk. Flames of Galileo up against the fence. Out wider still is Norcroft Mountain. And Ben Benici's James Away friend as they go over the night. So with seven still to take. The poorest over that was Ron Kino. So it's Heathcote Monarch. Still leads us by about three to Lily of the Valley. Flames of Galileo get to the tenth big plain one. Oh, Flames of Galileo went through the top of it but uh, didn't lose too much. Used to maintain momentum. Swing right handed inside the final seven now as they go to the 11th, which is seven from home, so six to jump. Ronquino stepped over it a bit towards the rear and getting a little bit detached as we uh, race on now inside the six. Heathcote won up by just a couple now to frames of Galileo and then Glisk, Lily of the Valley, and Norcroft Mountain. They're a length or so away from James Away Friend. Oh, some poor jumps by all the leaders there. Best over it was Norcroft Mountain, so Norcroft Mountain and Glisk come up to join the leader, Heathcote won up, as well as frames of Galileo. And they're a good couple of lengths away from the chasers. So we go over the 13th, so fourth from home. The leaders are all over it well. Ronquino's still a little bit slow at the back. But Heathcote Monarch now joined by Norcroft Mountain. Heathcote Monarch and Norcroft Mountain flames of Galileo. The leaders all get over it. Some slower jumps again towards the rear, but they're all getting a bit closer. All the running on really well out wide is Swiss Gris along with Baby Blue and Esther Tide Revelation trying to make up ground. The one that's making a little bit of going backwards is Flames of Galileo, but it's Norcroft Mountain. It's a James Shea horse that takes it up inside the final quarter mile. So Norcroft Mountain from Heathcote Monarch gets over the 15th. We've only got one to jump, and it's Norcroft. Croft Mountain starts to pull away from the rest of the field here. He's got Monarch doesn't know what he's got left. Swiss Gris on the wide outside is still trying to run on. Coming back into it now is James away. Friend and Esther Tide Revelation's not got anything left. We're in the final furlong. One to jump and it's Norcroft Mountain. Still leads by three but here comes Swiss Gris. He's got Monarch and James away. Friend inside the final. 50 yards. It's Norcroft Mountain's going to take this from Swiss Gris in second. It's another win for James Shea. Back to back wins. He now does move on to 800 to chases and he's really pulling away from everybody else his closest rival is me with five
But uh, back to White wins. Norcroft Mountain takes it from Swiss Chris in second. Heathcote Monarch was third for Thomas Rogers. Fourth was James Away Friend for Ben Bonici. And fifth was Esther Tide Revelation for James Shea. He just fills, fills up the hunter chases. Let's move on to race 38.